dark rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Wards, you're on your own. Ghost ward. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? I... The wards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. Thank you. Anytime. Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. Snap out of it! Something has me. Wards. Creepy hideout. The governor's spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Haskell? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. 
How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Or oh, plane? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Can you prove that? Where's your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I'm a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. I ask myself, where?
Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them. The very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them, but he does not. I did no wrong. Apart from a little theft. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? You saw his grief as an opportunity to test the effects of the lesser palingenesis. Oh, you know the ritual too? Amazing, isn't it? I've studied it. The actual ritual. Not the mangled version you gave Caleb. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! You mistake foolishness for audacity. You must mend your ways. Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Do you remember Deborah? Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just, you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. And there, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. We better help here. Well, that was not pleasant. Not a lot pleasant at all.
I don't think so. A ward restrains me. I am warded. I cannot. Think you could take on a ghost? Devil take it! It oozes through the breach, separates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. Who goes there? Is that a ghost? I don't know. But I don't think we're alone.
What might you be then? from the harrows we may be below the well no wonder they all got sick This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. Something's here. Hidden. Gibbs's land was barren. He was struggling for money. Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, aye. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. 
We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Which? They were determined to do for her. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Was the Gibbs' house targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Mrs. Gibbs, I presume. I can't help you. Something has me. Wards. Inspect the body. Go there. Expected no less from you, Miss. Almost there.
Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what the woman they accused was saying. The Gibbs are not at home to rational explanations. Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream. Over there. Elusive little buggers. Don't step in that. I mean it. I'll find a way around then. Wards. Think you can fend for yourself? And you will not be judged. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Sorry, not this time. Wasn't I always? Those echoes we're hearing, or the shadows speaking. They always appear near the ooze. So do the whispers. But which came first? Huh? You need to see this.
The whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Piss off! Watch out! Spe Away with you! Looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. Remember the wicked will I felt earlier? The same spell is upon this. A curse or a spell, eh? Let's ask Ceridian about this then. This whole country is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Whoever it was, it looks like the ooze got them. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. Now join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing?
is God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye, many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye, and many want to see her dead. Reinforcements! They never learn, do they? Did we miss a few? Ready and waiting. Those things came from the ooze. They're like those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or Baki liquefy. This is something else. The ooze reacted to our presence. I am the fear that weighs them down and must be crushed. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since this is it. This is the source. How do we get to it? Someone's left us a fire camp to use. Something tells me this is the condemned well. Do you think you could get that bucket down? The bucket is tainted. Strong memory clings to this place. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. The devil still breathes through her mouth. We are cursed, and you are stolen. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? How dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. Then do what God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. The Governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. 
He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. Why now? He's afraid. The Earth took the Gibbs house, perhaps he thought he was a target too. The Gibbs had a hand in rigging the witch trial, but he was the one who sealed it. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob. Speak, so you listen. Never was. Dangerous, and I'd no reason to show mercy. Not gonna stay down. Let 
me. Them. Magic is only a tool. Shadow's got his strength back. Don't let the ooze get back to his shadow. Enough. Can we please get out of here? It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced, but all I feel is beaten. I feel powerless. I were always one move behind. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such specter of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. A raging epidemic drove them out of their minds. But within, they pointed the finger. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Ah, 
seems to be stuck. Yes. Something's here. Did you feel that? It's close. There is a path once I clear the way. Down there, it was. I was tense. I was impatient. Me too. That infamy really got to us. Years of anger coursed through me. Yet now I can't even remember why. Me neither. This is what an infamy does. It's over now. We're here. I said something to hurt you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And I hope that you forgive me too. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once 
One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh, good. It's latest sermon. We haven't missed it. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in His name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions. I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a man, a latter-day King Solomon, when plague struck his subjects, they turned to him for guidance and protection, for they were God-fearing folk, and he was a godly king. The king turned his flock to God, but it was not enough. The plague spread on. The king, worried about his position, needed a sacrificial lamb. You lose the run of your tongue, Mr. McCraith, and of the head to which it's fixed. There was no lamb. There was a trial. Fair and lawful. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was then. The weapon of the wicked to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna, Hemlock, Foxglove? Betrayal. Truth unspoken. Secrets and lies. Wrongs, basically. Your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius. The wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands, 
Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. You had the power to stop the madness, but instead you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. You're a peacock. All show and no meat. I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. <laughs> he deserves blaming. And shame on me. Don't do it. Help <laughs> 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 Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? <laughs> have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? Protect us. I will. While Mr. McCraith fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness. And, uh, the strength to bear the consequences of our actions. Your fee. One of the many debts my father left me. You'd best put your own debts first, young Master Haskell. Don't I know it? I hate this place. Rest up, then please, let's get out of here.
bit angry. Can tell. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm what? Disgusted. This region is doomed. I know it in my bones. There's no shortage of suffering around here. Ask or sell to that when you're the Deborah's execution. I know that we're together. And it makes us strong, but... I'm still weary. Don't lose yourself. You've done far more than I could ever have asked. I'll do what it takes, and gladly. You need not ask it. The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel. My senses rise. It's as if I can taste the silence, smell the scent of wood smoke, feel the warmth of your body, feel Deborah's wrath. I feel it as if it were a part of me. I understand her anger. I feel her rage and can't help but relate to it. But that anger of mine, that fear, I thought when I left home, I'd left them behind. Past is the past. You still get to choose your future. Times like this, old wounds can ache. Seems normal. It's not just that. I thought I'd healed. I feel like I've taken ten steps backwards. So much so that the sister I thought was gone for good seems to be winding her way back to me. Your sister? Ayomi Day, wasn't it? No. As a child, before I left Cuba, I had a friend. I chose to call her my sister. That night, the night I died, I dreamed of her. I dreamed of Calendre. Are you sure it was a dream? Is that why you left the schoolhouse without me? Yes. It must have been a dream. She wasn't there. I mean, how could she have been there? But I heard her voice. I'd swear on it. How could that be? Dreams can be vivid. It can be difficult to separate them from reality. I was awake, Red. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. I think she said we were family. Never to be divided. She's after my job. She can't have it. I'm your family now. Nothing's tearing us apart. No. Not even death. Thank you for being the kindest soul I've ever met. Thank you for being the bravest. But uh, what do you mean, Ceridian? War! Ceridian! War! 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 I don't think she can hear us. 
We need to go back to the swamps. You understand that? But it's a bird. It's Ceridian, by way of the invisible, speaking through the crow. Pity it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at the seam. This isn't good. Uneasy. Me too. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. We can get to that ivy from the other side. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. That's for the gardening tip. We can get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes.
Nobody's home. I can feel it. Crows, they flock to that great tree up there. They pay me good money. This could be a good spot to cross. There was essence tied to the altar. I've consumed it all. That's great, I suppose. Are you alright? Yes. I feel invigorated.
Who there? Where could they be? The Banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must. What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers. Only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her. For me. Too late, old moss head, as ever. I'm right here, you know. Soldiers, bring me her hand. Standing by. Oh! 
Mossad is no more. He'll never drink from your skull now, will he? Another ancient promise broken. But what about me? How do I live now? You are all I ever had, and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. She took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be. For now.
The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Seeker now. She'll try to make sense of her pain. Or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. If she has regrets, she must tame them. Grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I had seen, I had done. I just wanted the pain to stop. I wanted oblivion. Your ghosts were killing you. They almost pushed you to insanity. But you pulled through. I let myself be drowned. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I'm losing my grip, sliding away, slipping through my own fingers. I've come so far. I don't want to go back. Red Rory McGraith, blood-soaked and vicious. Long's in the past. I fear his return, for you to live. I swore to reap the essence of the living. And if I succeed, I must live with my sins. If I fail, I must show them my guilt. And I don't know that I can carry the weight. Are we sure about what we are doing? Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power, purpose. She had love and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it.
The thought that you could bring me back without losing yourself in the bringing was a charming fiction. But a fiction, all the same. I'd have shouldered the burden. We'd have done it together. No. The price was too high. This is for the best. This is right. So, we ready ourselves for your leaving. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself?
Is it just me or...? I felt it too. No rest for the wicked. We should hurry. Huh? Some of the beacons have gone out. I suppose Ceridian's magic died with her.
Away with you! Move it, Red! Then get back up! Hugging all the fun. These specters are getting more aggressive. Andrea, I miss you. There's our voice again. Ignore it. Push on. I'm talking to you, little sister. Sister. What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you it's dangerous and we need to move on. Feels even more dangerous. That's possible. In case for you. My father would tell me stories. In the heart of the mountains lived a mystical race who desired only peace. <laughs> I can hear him now. Uh, these mystics, he said, they valued life and used gold only for their mausoleums. All creatures were accepted among them, except the men who were born to stay away. The bellicose and greedy. Let me guess, they went anyway. Aye, uh, in bellicose they did. And being greedy, went after the gold. The mausoleums desecrated, the mystics cursed the humans, hid themselves away. And they remind me of Ceridian. Good rest, huh? spot has to be close.
The mountains must be rich in ore. It looks a bit rickety. It's built for a team. One man alone should be...